Greetings family, this is Bomani Tayamba and I'm here with my wonderful sister and she just came in from New York City <laughs> right, right on Delta Jewel Airlines <laughs> So, you know, we're here at the Micklin Hotel uh, which is where we always stay uh, since uh, 2012 and uh, so we're here to talk about the wonderful, incredible journey that we're going to be assisting or organizing for our sister Ghana October 2019 tour. So, my sister, introduce yourself to our folks and let them know what we're working together on. Hi, everyone. Again, this is Sinika Arrington, known as the Positivity Queen. I am so grateful to be here today with Mr. Bumani. I'm here. Let me say, please, it was nine hours and I think maybe 27 minutes from JFK to Ghana. And that's not very long. I made it back safely to the motherland. You made it safe back to the motherland. Yes. So yeah, tell me what you want to talk about uh, as we begin to assist in you with uh, your okay. journey for lifetime. The journey for lifetime. Well, let's give the. I would like you to go over a little more in details and telling the people once the three days that we're gonna do here in Accra, the three days we're gonna do in Cape Coast, and the three days that we're gonna do in Kumasi. Absolutely, uh, family. So it is uh, nine full days in Africa. Yeah. So uh, the first uh, day we get here, that's uh, you know it's. Uh, uh, day we just travel, just get into the country. Now, while we're here in Accra, the second uh, day is just uh, the full city tour. So, you're talking about uh, Kwame Nkumo Memorial Park, uh, WEB Du Bois Center, uh, the Arts and Culture Center of, of Ghana, or we call it the Art Center. And um, what we have also set up is a business and investment uh, session or repatriation and investment uh, conference. So, that deals with uh, people who want to live and do business uh, there in Ghana. A nice full day, um, you know, from city tour to business. And, uh, next day, uh, we're going to be headed up to the uh, mountains, uh, and that's the Avery Tutu Mountains. So when we go to Tutu, we have an orphanage slash school that we visit. Uh, then we go down to uh, Avery Botanical Garden and Wood Carving Village uh, for those who want to shop. Uh, we drive to the University of Ghana, and also we just uh, get ourselves set for a beautiful uh, dinner at uh, the Jamrock Restaurant. Uh, it's a Jamaican slash Ghanaian our restaurant and we go to enjoy a great buffet and also enjoy beautiful music. So that's your full three days there in Accra. Now then we go to Cape Coast Elmina. Then, uh, Cape Coast and Elmina represent the two biggest African Holocaust dungeons ever that were built that, that, that house our enslaved or stolen African ancestors. Uh, so we're going to the, that era to where the, the first day once we get there is you know, the usual travel day we get to chill, relax, get our mind focused. But uh, the two tour days uh, include going to uh, Cape Coast Holocaust Dungeons, um, doing a full extensive tour, and also having an incredible uh, naming ceremony. Uh, the next day we're going to do a school slash uh, orphanage to where we donate, donate school supplies and things like that, and financial donation. Then we're going to do the uh, canopy walk, and that's only for the brave soldiers, <laughs> people who are ready for it. And you know, it's a nice active uh, itinerary. And then once we leave from um, Cape Coast Elmina, we're going to head to uh, Kumasi. Now, Kumasi is where we just have a beautiful layout. Now, the first day is the same thing as our travel day, relax, kick back, enjoy, uh, you know, enjoy your relaxation time, and also a beautiful nightlife. Uh, so, um, the, the second, the first and second uh, tour date includes us going out to all the craft villages. So, we're going to go to Banwir, the home of the famous uh, Kente Club. We're going to go to Intanso. We do the Dinka stamps and prints. Um, we're gonna go to uh, the wood carving village, and also we're gonna just relax and enjoy a beautiful uh, lunch at Ike's Cafe. Now the next day we're gonna go to the the Ashanti Palace Museum, yeah. not the actual Ashanti Palace, but the Palace Museum. Uh, so, and the, the, uh, my brother's gonna pronounce the name Manchia, right? Manchia Palace. Uh, so, you look at the pronunciation. <laughs> that's not what it's gonna make it sound like, but. That's uh, the beautiful uh, language of tree and the beautiful uh, you know, Ashanti kingdom energy. Uh, so uh, once we are finished there, uh, we're, we're going to enjoy just going to the arts and culture center there in Kumasi. So some more shopping, more shopping. Then we're going to enjoy lunch at Ike Cafe. So that's literally those two tour days. So uh, three days we have set up, one is a travel day, and then two days are the actual tour days we go out on tour. 
So basically you get a full schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, so family, all the details are located on our website, Africa for the Africans. .org. And when you go to the website, there's a few different things we have on the main menu. We have the Garvey Town, we have the, uh, our, our general Africa tours, uh, including South Africa. You know, we also have the Queen of Africa October 2019 tour. Uh, yeah, once you have the site up, you know, they can also visit it on the site. But those are just a list of things that we do, basically letting everyone know that we're hosting our sister. And all the things that you see on our website and our history is our experience. Uh, a vow and I put my life on it there's no one else out there that got more experience in doing what we're doing connecting our brothers and sisters to the African diaspora and you know I've been around so much part of Ghana I was explaining to my brother Prince as I, we went to a new era I was like every time I come I'm always you know venturing out you know what I mean call me Bomani the Explorer <laughs> uh, but you know it's like when people talk crazy stuff about Africa I was like you don't know what the hell you're talking about you know what I mean? it's like you want to tell me you know shut the hell up you know it's like you know, in order for you to have any competence or any, you know, to, to talk about anything, you got to get out there and, and do the work. And one of the things, we do business administration and technology work. Yes, we're in the office a lot of times, but we're out in the field. When we're out in the field, we don't play around. Like I said, we explore. You know, so the only parts of Ghana we really have into is the northern part. But what we have set up, family, as far as the itinerary, is just an incredible introduction and feel to coming to Ghana. And we do our best to set up the best accommodations to you as best as possible. But I don't want nobody freaking out because they're not in a, a, a five-star hotel because that's not what it is. Uh, and maybe one of the, the hotels will be a five-star, maybe one will be a three-star, maybe one will be just no star. But you know, we, set up, we do our best to set up things based on where we are. But I want people to focus on the journey of a lifetime, focus on the experience, focus on, on reconnecting to the ancestors. Not, you know, remember, family, our ancestors are the worst accommodation in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the history of the world. You mean? You know, they, they can talk about the other folks and things, but you know, when we take you on a journey, you learn about uh, the death march of our ancestors from the northern region, going to Sin Man, so going to Cape Coast or Elmina Holocaust Dungeon, the torture chambers and sent across the Atlantic. You know what I mean? And it continues, continues, and no other people have ever dealt with that energy. So if you come here, and you know you should be ashamed of yourself if you're gonna beef about great accommodations that we set up for you. You know, don't you know we don't need anyone to act like they're spoiled. We want people just to enjoy and focus. And I'm not trying to you know throw anybody off or be disrespectful. We just we being real with people because every journey I have, I always have two irritating person <laughs> that does not need to be on the tour. And I'm dead serious. You know, I mean, I always tell people that you know what you do honestly is you're ruining for the rest of the people. You know, because what people are gonna say is like. You know, but mine, I'm having a great time, but this one person, they're just so irritating. Every minute they complain about something, and it's just it's dead serious. And then the same thing as this journey. Two people, last trip, two people. <laughs> so uh, we're doing our best to make sure things are organized and you have the best experience. I've got my best people on the ground to do all of our tours and investment. And, you know, we just want you to also, you know, you're, you as a tour member is also responsible for making the tour great. You know, keeping a positive attitude and being supportive and giving good energy and good feedback also. All those things are part of that journey. And that's why my sister's here to just take it all in and see how we do the journey. I wish you could have really just joined us when we was on the journey because it was literally the best journey. It's my 16th journey to Ghana, but literally the best journey we've ever taken. Wow. You know, and all journeys include a little bit of ups and downs and a little bit of drama. You know what I'm saying? You always gotta have a little drama. <laughs> There's some spice. That's Africa. A absolutely. <laughs> All right, then. All right, how you feeling? I'm Let me know what you feel. Good. You feel I'm confident? Feeling good. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm excited. I'm grateful. And I'm looking forward to sharing this moment with everyone, you know. I think once you get your feet into the soil of Africa, actually, let me tell them about this. This is one of the hometown. This is grown naturally here. <laughs> and it was sweet. I'm not a real drinker, but when it goes down, it goes down smooth. Smooth. And, <laughs> and it's not too strong, you know. So when you come to Ghana, make sure you get you some black rock. It's a honey, a honey whiskey. And take it back to the cold states you'll need it. That's what's up, <laughs> like that is what's up. But yeah, yeah definitely looking forward to coming to the tours. Are you done?